Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Victor Morgan and this is V Morgan Tech. Alright, uh, I would love to say a big thank you to my 230 subscribers. You all have been amazing. And then I'm going to say thank you to those that are going to be subscribing to my channel too. Thank you guys. Alright, uh, your comments have been so helpful in moving this channel further. Thank you very much guys. Please do well to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Alright, so for today I'm going to be talking about Wiggle Swap. Uh, and then I'm going to be talking about its airdrop, okay? So, um, it says that uh, in this post, uh, this post was dropped earlier today, 8.48 a.m. February 4th, okay? Uh, I was just at the office when I saw this. I, was so eager. I wanted to quickly do this, but I couldn't do that at the office. I had to quickly get home to do this, yeah. Uh, well, um, it says that the last edge job with 50 million we go, okay, for liquidity providers is now live. Okay, what happened is there's been a, a round one, there's been a round two, and there's here's a round three, okay? Now, and this is the last round, okay? So if you're getting into this edge job, get into it, okay? Um, if you scroll down on this post, it says that we allocated 10 million we go for the last edge drop, okay? 3 million for the first so and so 1,300 participants, and then that was, that was the first round, and then 7 million we go for 1,200 LP, um, uh, LPRs in the second round okay now this is the third round and it's much bigger than the first and the second because they are distributing 50 million we go all right now what are we doing to end this edge drop we are providing liquidity we are adding we are adding our assets to the to the to the pool okay and to to make sure that um, there's enough funds for people to be able to trade and to help the ecosystem and all of that okay now i'm talking about liquidity a lot of people might not know what liquidity is you might not have had, well, well, you don't know what liquidity is, what's liquidity pool and all of that. So if you understand the concept of liquidity and liquidity pool, please keep to the next timestamp, okay, for it to go directly into the edge of and providing liquidity. But if not, please listen as I'll be talking a little bit about what liquidity and liquidity pool is all about. Well, liquidity is the is the ease at which one asset can be traded for another without actually uh, having a significant change. Uh, without significantly changing the price of that asset okay so um um i'll just quickly talk about liquidity and liquidity pool okay now um when you when you for example you 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 have a, a pool okay uh, a pool in this sense it doesn't mean swimming pool or whatsoever we mean a pool where money is okay a pool of money all right we have let's say ten thousand dollars in that liquidity pool okay and then i come in i want to make a trade of nine thousand dollars that's a lot of money for that pool okay that's a lot of money for that pool and a pool like that okay where um there isn't enough funds it's some it's, it's not liquid enough okay the price impact is very volatile because if i make any trade for example a trade of a pool of that has um ten thousand usd uh, usd okay and the usdt or uh, whatsoever the pool is worth ten thousand uh, dollars okay and then i come in to make a trade of eight or nine thousand dollars that's a lot okay it's going to significantly change the price all right so a pool has to be very liquid okay um for transaction to go on without really affecting or changing the price of that asset okay um so for example a, a pool of a pool that is what um, Ten billion dollars right now, okay. And then I come in with ten thousand dollars to 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 make a trade, to buy or to sell or whatsoever, okay, an asset. All right. So if I'm making that small trade or uh, in a big pool, it really is not going. It's not, it's not going to significantly affect the price. It's just a tiny part of that pool. Do you understand? So in that's in the in scenario, you say that pool is, you say you say it's, that's a very liquid pool, okay. It's, it's very liquid. Now, comparing this to real estate or something, real estate is one of the most liquid uh, markets, all right? Because well, if, for example, you want to sell an house of, uh, for, for $10,000, okay, you're going to need someone to buy it at that price, okay? But because um, the, the market is uh, illiquid, there isn't always buyers. You don't always have buyers on ground. You might end up holding on to that your house for like three months, one year or so ever, okay? But... In crypto, nobody has that time to wait. So there has to be there has to be some fund. Okay, you have, you have ten thousand dollars and then uh, you, you have ten thousand USDC, but then you need ten thousand dollars worth of phantom. All right, but then you don't you don't know where you're, where you're going to find someone to sell that to you in particular. But then okay, you don't have to always wait to 
find someone to send it to you, sell it to you. The centralized exchange is there, okay, and there's a liquidity pool where that means there's always money, okay. Uh, I have ten thousand dollars and I want phantom, so there's always ten thousand dollar worth of phantom and more in that pool where I can just easily drop my ten thousand dollars and get. Uh, my, I can drop my 10,000 USDC and then I can get so and so amount of Phantom easily without really affecting the price of Phantom. Do you understand? That's the concept of liquidity. So as liquidity providers, we have a very important job in this space, okay? Because liquidity is the core of DeFi, all right? There has to be money for activities to take place, all right? You are an LP, you are a liquidity provider, all right? So that's what we do. We have to keep the ecosystem running by giving our money to the system for us to for the for the for the for the for the, for the chain to uh, function properly. But yeah, we are giving a, we are giving uh, some money to the chain. Okay, we are adding liquidity to the pool. Uh, what's our benefits? Well, why are we doing this? Okay, we are getting something called um, the uh, the LP tokens. LP tokens is derived from the fees that people um, uh, pay when they transact on that that in that pool for example i come in now and i say okay um, um i want to trade ten thousand dollars for phantom i'm coming to swap all right i'm coming to do a swap and i have to pay a fee for that transaction what do you think that fee is going to the fee is going to the liquidity providers those that have come in to put in their fees their funds all right and how do these liquidity providers do it they come in and say okay fine i want to add a liquidity of um of fifty thousand dollars and then i come in i'm sorry for these big figures i'm calling here but <laughs> but then they come in and say okay i'm going to add twenty five thousand dollars of usdc and i'm going to add twenty five thousand dollars of um, phantom that is equal 50 50 making it fifty thousand dollars that they've added to the pool okay so what are they receiving in return they are receiving a percentage of the fees that you are paying all right so in this case we go swap is giving us 0 0.18 percent of all the fees all right so we are getting a percent of the fee so the profit is the fees that we are that people get to use up while using the protocol all right no the pool now what happens is it just profit and profit no there are also losses there are also things that could go wrong okay uh, that's why you have to do your research this is the reason why i'm talking about this uh, i'm talking about this because i'm talking about uh I'm giving you an opportunity that after you have to spend your money to do it but so i want you to be informed in advance of what it entails and all that so the risks involved is number one impermanent loss and then number two um, of, um rock pools okay rock pools and like, impermanent loss and there are other there could be other losses here but please do well to do your own research do your own research before um doing this so you know what you are going into so impermanent um, loss happens when um, the price of one asset shifts, okay, and it doesn't balance up whatsoever you've added. You know, I made an analysis of $25,000 and $25,000 of this, that. But what if another one of the assets increase or decrease in price? It causes impermanent loss. Okay, but that's impermanent because it's not permanent because your liquidity, your, your funds is still in the pool. It's only permanent when you take out your funds from the pool and, and really it's not actually significant okay such loss is not actually significant it's something that your lp tokens your reward can cover for extensively do you understand so that is just it all right with that on ground um let's go right into it okay now quickly i want to talk about bridges okay this is because if you because uh, if you are if you have your funds in another chain apart from phantom okay um, you would need to you would need uh, you would need to bridge it over to phantom before you can add liquidity to this pool for example if for example you have um funds in in binance smart chain you have to bridge okay it's to phantom before you can add some liquidity to we go swap all right so if you come over to metamask if you don't have metamask please do well to um, search for metamax or i'll leave the description in the uh, you, you find the description in, in the description you, you find the link in the description okay do also download it and just i mean you add the extension to your browser set that up and all of that okay so if for example you have so and so uh maybe for example you have 30 dollars in 30 usdc okay on binance Smart chain for example you get to buy the funds from I mean, you get to send in the funds from um, 
well, Binance Smart Chain, I mean, from, from Binance or from um, wherever you got it from, okay? And then it's in Binance Smart Chain, all right? A chain different from Phantom Chain. Um, you just have to come over to Spooky Swap. Okay, go over to SpookySwap.Finance and then you tap this bridge, all right? So you'll be bridging from BSC to Phantom or whatsoever chain. If you have it in Ethereum or Polygon or Arbitrum or whatsoever, just come over here. Select the chain that you are you add to the fund and then to chain phantom and then you bridge whatsoever you have. It's, it doesn't take a lot of time, uh, just cost a little bit of fees, 0.9 USDC. And then um, that's that. So if you have the funds in phantom, if you have phantom and you want to swap to the other um, the other assets you want to use to add liquidity, for example, I'm adding liquidity to USDC, okay, and all of that. Okay, so you can decide to, to swap Phantom to USDC on Wigo Swap USDC. Okay, it's very fast, it doesn't take a lot of time. Okay, Phantom is a very fast chain. All right, so now if we go down, you find what are the what are the pools, what are the peers that you can add liquidity to? You can add liquidity to FUSDC, I mean USDT and to Phantom, USDC, Phantom, BTC, Phantom, ETH, Phantom, BTC, ETH, CRV, Phantom, ETC. All right. So these are the peers that you can add liquidity to. But for me, I had already, I uh, already have um, USDC and I have Phantom, and these are the two that I'll be adding to the pool. All right. Um, let me just connect my Phantom wallet. I mean, let me just connect my MetaMax to this. I mean, switch over to Phantom. Okay, I'll quickly get back to you. All right, so if you're on that chain, all you just need to do is to switch the network and um, you would be on the Phantom chain. All right, then you'll be able to transact on, on Wigo Swap. All right, so I have um, Phantom and then um, what I'll do, if you, if you don't have enough, okay, uh, you'd have to go over to swap and then swap whatsoever the thing is uh, for example the minimum the minimum amount of liquidity to provide is 30 dollars for you to qualify for this airdrop all right so that means you can add 15 dollars of one asset and add 15 dollars of the other asset simple i mean that's to be equal that's to be 50 50 okay so um so if for example i have uh, for example i have usdc and i'll be adding 20 dollars it means I'll be adding nine phantom, nine point six nine phantom, or whatever, and then twenty USDC. That is equal to forty dollar water. Um, that's forty dollars. Okay, added to the liquidity pool. Okay, so if I come over to liquidity and then um, add liquidity, um, I'll select the amount. I'll select what I want to add phantom. Okay, and then USDC. So if I add twenty dollars worth of it, okay, this is what I'm adding, and then I'll wait for I'll wait for the supply to load up, okay, okay, I'll wait for it to load up, and um, good, I'll hit supply, okay, and I'll be getting um, this share of the pool, wait as so and so confirm supply, yeah. And then confirm supply twice. Come on. What's that? Confirm supply. All right, yeah. Um, so I'll confirm this. Okay, good. Transaction submitted. So if I view this on FTM scan, okay, it shows pending, pending, and it should be added soon. Okay, it should be successful very soon. All right. 
right? Transaction receipts, okay? Add 9.61 one phantom and 20 USDC, okay? So that's that. Um, successful. So if I reload this transaction um, details, it shows success. Good success. So we've added phantom and USDC to the pool, all right? So if I go back, I should be able to find my liquidity here. Okay, so I'll just uh, I'll refresh this page. Okay, as you can see, um, USDC Phantom added to the pool. As you can see that, yeah. So that's that. Um, and that's all of that, okay? So the next step is to come to this N, okay? And if you come to N, you find farm and bank, okay? Uh, it's going to be active in four days and 17 hours, all right? That's, that's like five days, yeah? Now, what, what happens is when you farm, I mean, when you provide liquidity, you get to earn LP tokens, okay? Uh, it's, called, it's going to be uh, um, Wigo tokens, okay? LP Wigo, okay? So you're going to be earning these tokens. And then when you come over, that's five in five days' time, the, the, you'll be able to farm, okay? Uh, you'll be able to um, stake those LP tokens to earn more, uh, to earn Wigo, okay? So it's just uh living funds in the pool and all of that and there any rewards for it okay so for as long as your liquidity remains in the pool you keep on earning lp tokens and then you can continue stick sticking those lp group lp um tokens okay so that's just it um do want to do your research on wiggle swap okay do your research on wiggle swap i mean they they just um uh, they joined this on uh, Twitter uh, September 2021, so it's a fairly um, new project. So invest cautiously, okay? Invest wisely. Uh, do not invest more than you can lose, okay? And all of that, yeah? So if you like this video, if you like the content of what I've shown you, do it with the like button. And it's your decision if you want to subscribe, but yeah, I encourage you to do that. And if you subscribe, I encourage you to turn the notification bell because when I show videos like this, videos like this are usually timely, okay? So you don't want to see these videos uh, after uh, the opportunity has passed or let's say one month after or one week after. No, you want to see it as soon as I drop it. Do well to read it, the, the notification bell and then you'll be, you'll be able to see these videos. So, all right. I also have a link to my community in the description. Do well to join because I can't post all of these opportunities in videos, I mean, on YouTube. And some of them are posted in my community so do also join my community on whatsapp and uh, all of that yeah so the links to all of these will be in the description do also do your research before making your investment decision thank you for the time guys bye